Hello, uh, my name is Glenn Reese from Digital Globe. I'm the uh, product manager for First Look Christ Event Service, and today I'll be uh, discussing tasking and delivery of uh, high resolution imagery to support disaster response. <clears throat> Uh, Digital Globe has three satellites in their constellation, QuickBird, World V1, World V2. Uh, the combination of these satellites, we can collect over 2.1 million square kilometers a day. That's equivalent to 50 Switzerland's. That'd be a lot of chocolate. Um, our crisis event service, First Look, leverages this constellation to respond to uh, natural disasters, man-made crisis, political situations around the world. <clears throat> when there is an event, uh, our monitoring team, analysis center, We'll actually research the event, um, understand what areas have been impacted, define AOIs, and then manage the priorities um, on the satellite. We use a number of different open sources to uh, respond to those events. They're listed up here, GDAX, International Charter, uh, Harvard Humanitarian. In addition, in the future, hopefully uh, this month, we'll be uh, releasing our firstlook.rss, which will provide um, information about what AOIs we're going to be focusing on, some high-level information about the different disasters. Basically, it's a way for people to understand that we are responding to particular events. Um, the case responded to Japan the day after the, uh, the earthquake and the tsunami. We collected 45,000 square kilometers along the northeast coast. <clears throat> That's a lot of data. Hours after we collected that information, it was available onto our OGC compliant map services for the different organizations and communities to, to respond. Um, as the event progressed, we understood that we needed to focus in on areas such as Sendai or Fukushima, where we then started setting up a monitoring program. So, you know, just really reinforces the need for uh, information sharing and communication when there are disasters. Um, we also cover political situations, civil unrest, um, such as uh, Libya or, or Syria. <clears throat> in those situations as well, we will, uh, you know, define AOIs in areas of interest when we start to understand that, that there is civil unrest in those areas. Um, but as those prog uh, events progress, we, we need to understand what areas um, may be having more turmoil um, or protests in the cities so that we can focus you know, high resolution satellite image collections on those particular areas. Also, if there's military buildup in a particular area, you know, having that type of information so that we can prioritize the collections in a timely manner and uh, get those collections acquired and then disseminated onto our cloud services is, is extremely important. Um, the flooding in Bangkok recently, that's been going on for, for about 30 days. Um, that's another example where, you know, as the floods progress in, into the city, we, we need to understand and prioritize accordingly throughout these events. Initially, when Bangkok uh, kicked off, you know, we had information through our collaboration sources that North Bangkok was going to be um, impacted, and so we focused on North Bangkok. More recently, no, this is not a harbor, this is actually an international airport. The international airport, well, it's the older international airport in Bangkok, Thailand, completely underwater and remains underwater. But having that type of information to respond to events is extremely important to us, and that's you know, what the analysis center focuses on. Most recently, we responded to Turkey. Um, established AOIs for Eric's and Vans, and even more recently have extended the activation to focus our satellites on these areas because we had another earthquake in that area. Um, as we collect imagery in these locations, uh, we try to extend it through the period that people are actually responding. Um, so this particular image is Eric's refugee camps in those areas. The imagery is 50 centimeter, extremely use useful, but a smaller footprint another reason why it's important to, to really understand what areas are impacted um, and what areas we should be focused on. <clears throat> Additionally, it, the imagery, once it is collected, does go on to our OGC compliant um, services. I think it's extremely important to point out you know, how key it is to be interoperable in the community. So we, we support this. We support building out OGC platforms so that we can plug into the community's workflows enable different workflows and make location counts. This is an example of OSM using the Turkey imagery to respond to that particular event, build out vector roads, um, update the information so the community has the most updated information. Imagery that's collected through this platform can be available two to three hours after it's actually been collected. Another example of Unisat using the imagery to do the flood mapping in, in Bangkok, Thailand. Um, 
Again, hours after the imagery is collected, it gets filtered on. Really good example, Tomnod, Syria, where they're actually using um, this event imagery to do crowdsourcing and find out information about where these protests are potentially occurring. <clears throat> it's actually a good example of how information out in the field could actually filter back to Digital Globe, and then we could adjust our, our priorities. That's it. Appreciate it. Please come talk to me. We have a booth out there, and uh, I'd welcome your feedback, and definitely interested in uh, other ways we can support the community. Thank you. Thank you.